Hi guys and welcome to Gerigi Reviews and to this very quick update, uh, Blu-ray update. I just bought uh, two Blu-rays that I really, really wanted. Actually, I, I, you know, I don't know if you watched my previous and first Blu-ray update, uh, but I'm not really the one to collect, um, you know, Blu-rays because of the space that I have mostly. But in this case, I just said to get some movies that I really, really loved. No matter if they're guilty pleasures or anything else, you know, like uh, Jack and Jill. So, for now I have a total Blu-rays of um, five. Yeah, so I have five Blu-rays only for now. So yeah, I decided to get Clash of the Titans. That's one. And the second is Wrath of the Titans. And this one, at least I found on 3D. This was too expensive in 3D. But the interesting thing is that both are like the, absolutely the same price. Uh, in dollars, you can say they're like about maybe six dollars. So yeah, uh, for twelve dollars, almost thirteen, I got you know this. Um, so yeah, those movies are really you know guilty pleasures of mine because I, I realize how stupid some of the things in the movies are. So in the first, actually. We have only one disc, understandable, because this is just, you know, the normal Blu-ray 2D version, you know, nothing special about it. And of course, for 3D, we have the 3D, you know, version, and of course, the normal version, which is very, very boring disc, actually, but I don't mind. Uh, I watched this in 3D yesterday and it was amazing, I mean, 3D effects are amazing, like when flames are burning and, and other things are coming your way or, you know, further, it's pretty cool. Oh, and this is 16 to 9, which is my preferred format since, you know, the standard for TVs is, uh, is 16 to 9 and this is um, only uh, 8 yeah, 8 to 4, I think. So, that is not very good. But, yeah, overall, um, Sam Warrington in the role. Yeah, he's good, but... No, he kind of plays things all, all the same, actually. He kind of has that style that he plays everything almost the same. And he did not work out for this role. I mean, as much as I love these movies, I, I just love how the gods are presented in terms of how they are shown visually with their powers. I like that. Uh, I like how in the first movie they they were all like, uh, you know, gathering next to Zeus. I mean, around Zeus, and they they were all glowing, and that's pretty cool. You know, but I don't like how their power is dependent, you know, on the people. Don't really like that because at the end of the day, it's like something that is, is expiring. It's like they have an expiration date, which is ridiculous when it comes to these things because they are God. So, yeah, every movie tries to make God seem weaker. That's in every movie, basically. But I really, really enjoy the visuals. In these movies, you can really tell how the CGI in the first movie is really, really dated. Like the waves, the kraken, the scorpions, you can really tell those things are not real. The way they move and even in the way how they stand on the ground is just not realistic at all. They, it's like they don't make a contact with the ground, don't feel it. Uh, yeah, it, it's, not, it's not the same like now, of course. And I, I just have like a nostalgia, you can say, about those movies because those are the movies that make uh, that made like a huge visually like impression on me this is like the cgi classics or something <laughs> honestly and i just love greek roman history and uh warriors and myth and legends and just love it so this is one of my favorite favorite genres of all time so it's no wonder that i love these things and they're not r-rated so they're not annoyingly bloody and 
in the first movie especially there's some amazing shots like the fighting how things are shot it's just very good camera angles i'm very impressed to this day with the camera and the angles the fighting how sam warrington you know he uh, he basically didn't need the stuntman, he did most of the things on his own, the fighting, the jumping on things, the wire work even on the green screen, so that, that's very very good and the special features are super awesome, so yeah, totally, you know, if you're, if you're a fan of these movies, if you've forgotten about these movies, you should definitely pick those out, because, you know, when I went to see those, in the movies I know that they're stupid in many ways but it's just one of those things like you go into the movie you see it and you have this amazing feeling of like going to the cinema you feel the experience you're like wow what visual effects and the story is cool it's just not very well thought out some things just don't make sense and some things are like too stupid you know, too silly, but yeah, there are like things that I like more in the second movie, there are things that I like more in the first movie, uh, they're not like 300 in the first 300 movies, like with substance and overall very, you know, memorable, and those movies for me are memorable but in, in an entertaining kind of way. I do love to have those and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to continue, you know, at least buying the movies that um, left some kind of a memory in me and in a, in a very entertaining and good way because you know at, at, in the end of the day not everything has to be super you know super serious movie sometimes you just need like this you know something like this to entertain you just go out be lost in the movie and have fun with all the mythological cool warrior stuff this is just one of the things that I really really love. So guys, this is my Blu-ray update, Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. Let me know what you think in the comments and till very soon with Gary G reviews.